You look older, Thomas. So do you, my prince. You cold? Uh, I'm frozen stiff. Chillblains are killing me. You love it, of course. You're in your element. <laughs> Just that monk's habit. I always told you, one must fight the cold with the cold's weapons. Strip yourself naked every morning and... And splash yourself with cold water. <laughs> I used to when you were there to make me. Uh, I never wash now. I stink. How's your son? He must have come of age. Oh, he's an idiot. And sly like his mother. Thomas, don't you ever marry? You took that matter out of my hands when you had me ordained. Well, if we start on that, we're sure to quarrel. Talk about something else. Very well. Has your majesty done much hunting lately? Yes, it's every day. It doesn't amuse me anymore. Beckett, I'm bored. My prince... I wish I could help. Well, what are you waiting for? For the honor of God and the honor of the Prince to become one. Well, that may take long. Yes, that may take long. I'm the king, Thomas. And so long as we are on this earth, you owe me the first move. I'm prepared to forget a lot of things, but not that I am king. You yourself taught me that. Never forget it, my prince. You have a different task to do. You have to steer the ship. And you? What do you have to do? To resist you with all of my might when you steer against the Lord God. What do you expect of me then? Are you hoping I'll weaken? No. I'm afraid we must only do, absurdly, what it has been given us to do, right to the end. Look, look, suppose that we come down to Earth and use words that make sense to a bore like myself. Otherwise, we'll never get anywhere. And there'll be two frozen statues trying to make their peace in a frozen eternity. My lord, I, I, I was doing my best to make you understand. I'm an idiot, Ben! Just talk to me like I'm an idiot! Will you lift the excommunication you pronounced on Lord Gilbert? No, because it's the only weapon I have left to defend what was left unto my care. Will you agree? to the ten proposals which the bishops accepted in your absence, particularly to the surrender of priests who seek the protection of the church to escape my courts of justice. No. My role is to defend my sheep. And they are my sheep. But I'll agree to the nine other articles in the spirit of peace and because I know you must remain king in all and of all to save the honor of God. All right. I will give way on this one point. In memory of our past friendship, you may return to England. Thank you, my prince. I meant to go back in any case and give myself up to your power, for in all things that concern this earth, I owe you obedience. We're finished now. And I'm cold. I'm cold too. 
You never loved me, did you, Thomas? In so far as I was capable of love, yes, I did. Did you start to love God? You mule! Answer a simple question! Yes, I started to love in honor of God. I should have never seen you. It hurts too much. My prince! No, no pity. It's dirty. This is the last time I shall come begging to you. Go back to England. Farewell, my prince. I sail tomorrow. I know that I shall never see you again. How dare you say that to me when I've given you my royal word? Do you take me for a traitor? Thomas! 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 <laughs>